All right, welcome. Um, this is a quick guide on how to use the parallel capacities of Dynair for um, estimation of a DSG model with the random walk Metropolis Hastings MCMC method. So let me first open up Dynair. This is a clean install of um, macOS Catalina. I am no Mac user, this is a virtual machine. So I dedicated four cores to this and we will see how to set up everything to run a simple model um, estimation in parallel. So first um, uh, I just want some nicer code formatting so I'm going to include mode files here as well so if I open up my Example mode file, um, you can see this is a basic new Keynesian model and we are going to simulate data, save that in the file and then we're going to estimate um, using a hundred uh, observation points. We are going to first compute the mode um, and use the in negative inverse of the Hessian for initialization of the Nicopolis Hastings algorithm. Um, which has four chains and a bit more than 2,000 draws, so the diagnostics are also computed. This is the J-scale, which you have to tune. There's also a uh, J-scale uh, tune command if you don't really, if you want Dynair to, to tune that for you. Um, and I'm doing random work Metropolis Hastings, but I'm changing the proposal distribution to the multivariate student with three degrees of freedom okay so if you want to run this these four chains again i have uh, four cores uh, so each chain should run on one core in parallel this is like the most time efficient way to do so you first have to create a configuration file um, this is a basic configuration file for a local machine um, say a laptop or a desktop computer but it also works for a single server um, very important, the computer name is localhost. Um, so I define my cluster. I only have one machine, so my, I'm called this member N1. If I have several machines, I could, of course, declare more than that. The chapter five of the manual has many more informations and settings you can, you can change on that. Um, so Basically, um, for this N1, I have to declare some more settings. Very important, this is localhost. I'm running everything on just this machine, not remotely. I have four CPU number, uh, CPUs as a course, and I want to run one thread per job. You can also do like two, two or something like that. So whatever fits your need. And very importantly for um, Mac OS, uh, it is to, to put in this MATLAB Octave path where your MATLAB installation is can be found uh, in particular the, the binary that calls MATLAB. So let's save this. <clears throat> and then all you have to do is run Dynair parallel example um, uh, parallel. Let's first always do a test whether or not the configuration file I have written is okay. Oh, of course, I have forgotten to include the path to Dynair. I always do this manually because I like to play around with versions and everything passed. Okay. All right, then we can do the run by running Dynair, your mode file, parallel, conf file equals wherever your configuration file is saved. And let's see how this works. So you can see that this is actually opening up several MATLAB instances in the background. So this is how the, the toolbox of Dynair works. It opens up other MATLAB instances and then runs everything on these. So there's some, some overhead, uh, some communication. So the initialization and the finalization steps take a couple more seconds than maybe you're used to, but if you have a million draws and all stuff like that. You can easily run each of this chain on one core. Um, currently, um, 
The routines that are parallelized are the posterior sampling algorithms, the Metropolis Hastings diagnostics, the posterior and post response functions, prior and posterior statistic, statistics, and some plotting routines. And we are finished. I hope this was useful. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. And if you want to see other tutorials, please let me also know. Have a good day.